So my friends, as you know, we are in the journey of reaching the most powerful, fast and agile body type which is the rugby player body type. And in this series, I am sharing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis to reach my goals and dreams. I hope it inspires you. I started my day with sprinting. Uh, what I did is basically as soon as I woke up, I, I went out and done sp stretching. After that, I started sprinting. The reason that I'm doing sprinting every morning is um, the sprinting actually increases your growth hormone, which is really helpful for bodybuilding. And then I started cooking my first meal. In my first meal, I cook chicken and eggs. I usually use like 100 grams of chicken and four eggs. And then I went out and get my first coffee. Ice Americano is my favorite, especially when it is hot and like you're just overwhelmed with the weather. It just wakes you up and gets you ready for the rest of the day. After coffee, I came to my room and eat some peanut butter and honey sandwich. I think it is the best meal for bulking. After peanut butter and honey sandwich, I went to gym. Uh, today was a leg day. I think this is specifically important because when you consider that rugby players have huge legs I need to focus on legs more than I used to so leg day was important for me In my leg days I mainly focus on squat and deadlift I think these are the main pillars of having strong legs. On squat I've done 60 kg 2 sets and in the last set I increased it to 65 kg and I've done 8 reps. And after squat I've done leg press. I didn't record because it was kind of crowded and it will be kind of weird to record so I didn't. In leg press, I've done with 148.5 kg, 3 sets and 15 reps. And then I moved on to deadlifts, I've done with 45 kg, 3 sets and 15 reps. And I was done with my workout. After the workout I went to my dorm kitchen and started to cook some chicken. I eat a lot of chicken and I don't really use any spices because I don't really know how to cook a proper meal. I just basically know how to cut the chicken, put, put some oil and like cook it that way. And I think it's very bland and I'm starting to get sick of it. So I want to learn some new recipes. Probably in the next videos I will come up with some like cool recipes that you can also use in your chickens. for today i hope you enjoyed it see you in the next video